guys? Today I'm basically filming a follow-up video on the last video that I had posted, which was a video I wanted to create to keep you guys motivated and inspired during COVID and the lockdown that we're all experiencing around the whole world. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. The main reason I wanted to make that video was to kind of make sure that we all keep ourselves in check. I did it for myself as well because I felt like if I were to put this video out, then I have to be accountable myself because I wouldn't want to set an example and not follow through. And um, I have to be honest with you, I caught myself slipping. I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect. Also, I wanted to let you know that when I made the video, it was focused around being focused, being productive during this time, because we don't usually have time like this. Obviously, that is the goal. I think that a lot of us should be trying to do right now. I wanted to make sure that I was giving you guys different examples and ideas of things you can do, because now is a time that not many of us have time like this ever because we have to go about our life and we're working and doing many things. We don't have this freedom. I don't want to see anybody wasting their time. I just wanted to get back on here and kind of remind us all, including myself, that we should just work hard at achieving things that we've wanted to do for a very long time. And I also do think, which I didn't really display in the video, it's important to maintain some type of entertainment as well. I wanted you guys to know, like, I'm not just doing all of those things that I show you in the video. Like, I am, but I'm watching Netflix too. I don't usually watch TV ever. But I did find a show, there was two seasons, I watched the whole thing, binge watched some of the episodes, and that's a form of entertainment, and I think it's also healthy because we are in our houses, we're not going out, we're not seeing people, we're not doing social things the way that we used to, so you do need some type of entertainment that is also healthy. So I hope you guys found something to keep you entertained, and if you have any new shows that you want to recommend to me, let me know. And if you want to see more videos, I do have playlists if you want to watch my videos. There are a lot of playlists that you can choose from. In particular, back when I made the decade video, that was a 20 minute video, and I know that's way longer than I ever post. So if you never saw that video and now you have extra time and would like to see it, that video took a really long time and I would love for you guys to watch it. But anyway, that being said, I told you I was slacking and I am so mad at myself. I can't even explain to you. I'm really pissed, but I know it happens to the best of us. <laughs> Yeah, like I really I really feel like a piece of crap for having a few bummy days and not doing enough. Something I did do to try and get myself back on track, I've never done this, but I put sticky notes around my house in different rooms of the things that I wanted to make sure I'm achieving. For instance, right here I have a couple sticky notes on the wall. I want to work on push-ups and my flexibility because I haven't done that in a while. That's just like one thing, an example of what I'm doing. Also, this is something that is so stupid. I feel like it's either gonna come off stupid or it's gonna come off very relatable. What I tend to do in life is when I have a goal, for some odd reason, I don't know why, I'm always like, I'm gonna start on Monday, maybe because it's the start of the week, but I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start Monday. And then if I miss Monday, it becomes Tuesday. In my mind, I'm like, okay, I can maybe do it. And then it kind of like falls through, and I'm like, all right, well, the next week I have to do it. And I, I put things off. I notice that is so unhealthy and stupid. So I've been trying not to focus so much on the day rather than the date passing by, if that makes sense, because I don't wanna fall into, I can't do this because it's not Monday. I can't do this because it's not the beginning of the week or, you know, Something stupid like that. <laughs> Does anybody relate to that? Something else that I feel like a lot of people do is they will set their mind to have one goal. They have to try to achieve that goal and that's what they're working on at the time. And I do that too sometimes. So I was thinking, screw that. Why can't I focus on several goals at the same time? Because I can do that and so can you. And we do have all this extra time. I am trying really hard to focus on many, many different things and like different areas of wellness and health. For example, I'm trying to learn Spanish now. I took Spanish in college, but I don't remember everything. So I signed up for this app and I'm learning it again slowly. Another one of my goals was to read more and I honestly <laughs> kind of hate reading, but I've had these books lying around for quite some time and I've been wanting to read them. Never really had the time to, so I am reading. It's not that bad. <laughs> there is one goal currently that's very important to me and it's been the one that I'm slacking on the most. I think it's because in my mind I feel like it's the hardest one. I'm sure you guys can agree that when you have a goal that is something unfamiliar to you, that's the one you kind of push back on. 
My goal is to learn the stock market. I don't know anything about it, but I've always been interested in it and I want to learn it and I feel like now is the time. I definitely have been slacking on it and I'm pissed at myself. But I think maybe we can help each other and be accountable. Maybe in the comments if we all write what our goals are right now and we can respond to each other and maybe just give each other encouragement you can meet new friends too now's the time that you can meet people and connect with people that you would probably not otherwise have met it's just a good way to stay connected stay focused and work on your goals now you know what my main goal is i want to learn the stock market i really do i did try a little bit the thing is we all just have to get our feet wet in whatever we're trying to achieve it goes for anything if you are starting something new you don't know how to do it until you get through the steps like riding a bike I didn't know how to ride a bike nobody knew how to ride a bike you get on you have training wheels and you learn how to use not, no training wheels then you ride the bike and then boom you got it and then you try no hands did that and I remember I felt I have a little scar on my elbow but you can figure out whatever it is that you don't know how to do and you can learn don't be afraid I hope you guys are using this time to be productive again like I said make sure you're entertaining yourselves also but don't get consumed in only entertainment focus on something one last thing I wanted to say is talk to people who inspire you or watch or follow people who inspire you maybe even study them or study things they do just because that's what will keep you motivated. I do that often. Sometimes I'll even try to multitask. While I'm running, I'll listen to a podcast. Not always, because I love listening to music. I do listen to like motivational things, and I read motivational things. I talk to people who inspire me, who are friends and family. I try to surround myself with those types of people in life so that I can stay inspired, and it does definitely help. So I just wanted to recommend that you guys do that as well. Well, that's all I have for today. Also, do me a favor and write in the comments what do you want to see me doing for the rest of the quarantine? Like what types of videos or content would you like me to release? Because I can't just go outside and film anything like I usually would want to. I hope you guys are staying safe, positive, and focused. I love you and I'll see you soon. Peace. The newest addition to the merch store is available right now online at jensmithofficial.com and the link is in the description. The J logo was handwritten by me, but it was influenced by you guys, so I hope you like it as much as I do. Love you guys.